Oh, layers. And we're talking about layers. We're working in Pixlr right now. So we're working in Pixlr as we do in class. Uh, this is the same as other very similar programs like uh, Photoshop being the most well known. These are the raster editors and like the other tutorials we've done, we're talking about just all colored pixels in this image. Now we have, I don't even remember what was on layer one, but let me get rid of that. Okay, so we open up a picture, we start with the background, that is the first layer. As we start making changes to this, we, uh, we start getting more and more layers. Let's just say, let's say that we want to, all right, so my lasso tool, there's another tutorial about that. Let's say that we wanted to copy this area. Okay, well enough. Now, if I do something, let's say I copy it, and then I want to paste it, there it is, my little buddy right here. Now that shows as layer two. Now I had layer one a minute ago, I deleted it. It was something that I was working on before. Um, so usually it would show as layer one, but by the time you get in, let's see if I do the same thing, if I paste it again, there's layer three, paste it again. And of course you don't have to sit and paste the same thing, you could go in you, in this photograph, you can take things from other photographs. Every time you copy or cut something from this photo or from another photograph and paste it, it gives me more and more layers. Here, I just kept pasting the same thing for, for simplicity's sake. Now, if I want to just work on one of them, I believe this was my fourth layer, so I've selected layer four. Important. I uh, come back in. Remember the free transform function. So this was my layer four. I got that selected. So I can come in and you know go in, erase, change the color. Yes. Layer four is still selected. I come in and make adjustments with color, do whatever changes I want to do. Also, if I wanted to come in and remove this, to trim up just this part, not the background, not the other layers, if I take my eraser tool, and let's see, so I'll just stick with the nine, that's nah, way too small. Come in with a 50 pixel brush. Now that's for the eraser tool. Remember, it talks about everything as far as brush size. If I want to come in and trim this up, it's not going to erase the background or anything like that just this layer four and let's see so I'm not liking the way this looks I can come in if I don't like this layer four I am just going to right click or in a Mac I'm gonna come in and do a two finger click and uh, delete layer and it is gone here are my other layers now here's the trick while this is all set up in layers, we can work on one layer at a time. I believe this was layer three, so here it is. I've got it selected. If I wanted to mess around with it, there it is, layer three. So while it is there, I size it. If I move over here and see the little curling arrow, I can rotate it. I can make any adjustments, apply filters to it. I can do anything with it while it's selected. The difficulty comes when people, when we have to, let's say, when you flatten the image, it's going to take all your layers and make it one. Now, once that is flattened, this and this are a permanent part of the rest of this. I can't just select them and go in there and trim up little pieces at a time. It is one layer and it's there forever, of course, unless we come up here and do undo. Here are my layers again. Not crazy about the way this looks. I'm going to delete it. Layer 2. Do the same thing. And I'm back to my original photograph. But layers. Everything's done in layers. And, well, that's it.